Hello students. In today's video, we shall be discussing about future tense and its types. So, before discussing about the topic in details, let us see some examples. Example 1. He will pay us a visit next week. Example 2. They will be buying a new car very soon. Example 3. He will have kept his promise. So, in the following examples, that is the underlined words like will pay, will be buying and will have kept are referring to the actions or events that are going to happen in the future. So, now let us see what is the future tense. So, future tense is used to express any action or event that has not happened yet but is expected to happen in the future. So, it means that the action has not taken place yet but it might happen at any point of time in the future. Like in example 1, he will pay us a visit next week. Here, it means that the person has not visited us yet. But there is a possibility that he will be visiting us next week, which means in the future. Forms or kinds of future tense. So, there are four forms or kinds of future tense. They are number one, future indefinite or simple future tense. Next is future continuous tense. Number third is future perfect tense. And number fourth is future perfect continuous tense. So, these are the types of future tense. So now let us discuss each of them one by one in details. Let us see some examples. Example 1. They will come day after tomorrow. Example 2. Benita will sing a song. Example 3. We will start a new shop. So in these examples, that is example 1. They will come day after tomorrow. Example 2. Benita will sing a song. Example 3. We will start a new shop. The underlined words such as will come, will sing, will start. They are referring to the activities or the events that have not happened yet. But are likely to happen sometime in the near future. So, future indefinite tense or simple future tense refers to any activity that has not happened so far but is likely to happen sometime in the future. Now, let us see the basic structure of a sentence in future indefinite tense or simple future tense. The structure to be followed for writing a sentence in future indefinite or simple future tense is subject plus will or shall plus verb which will be in its first form that is this basic form or present form of the verb plus object. So, in example 2, Benita is a subject. After that, you have to add will. Then you have to add the verb that which will be in this first form or the present form. That is, in the second example, it is sing plus the object. That means a song which is an object. So, Benita will sing a song where Benita is a subject. After that, you will add will plus V1 which is the verb one. Uh, here it is sing and then it will be followed by an object which is here a song. Now let's move on to the next form of future tense that is future continuous tense. So now let us see some examples. Example 1. I shall be playing football. Example 2. He will be writing a letter. So in these two examples the underlined words that is shall be playing will be writing refers to actions that are likely to occur in the near future. It means that the actions will occur in the normal course of events in future. So, future continuous tense is used to express an action that will occur in the future and continue for an expected length of time. That is, it is used to express an unfinished action or an event that will be in progress at a time in future. Now, let us see the basic structure of a sentence in future continuous tense. So, the structure that is to be followed in future continuous tense is subject plus will be or shall be plus first form of verb along with ing that is the present form of the or the basic form of the verb along with ing 
and then we have it will be followed by an object so in this example that is example 1 i is the subject which is to be followed by shall be plus play is the first form of the verb then you have to add ing with play so it becomes playing and after that it will be followed by an object which here refers to football so i shall be playing football i is the subject which is followed by shall be plus verb plus ing which here refers to playing plus object which refers to football so now let us see the third type of future tense for examples number 1 he will have kept his promise number 2 they will have left this place very soon so in these two examples the verbs that is left kept indicates the actions that are to be completed by a certain time in the future so the future perfect tense is used to express an action that will be completed at or before a given time in the future the basic structure of the sentence in future perfect tense is subject plus will have or shall have plus the third form of the verb or the past participle form of the verb plus object for example number 1 he here is the subject plus will have plus the third form or the past participle of the form keep which becomes kept plus the object that is his promise so the sentence will be he will have kept his promise so this is the basic structure that you have to follow while framing a sentence in future perfect tense so the last form of future tense is the future perfect continuous tense so now let us see some examples example 1 i shall have been playing cricket after doing my homework example 2 she will have been working on this project since january so in these two examples the underlined words that is shall have been playing will have been working refers to actions which will be in progress or continue over a period of time and will end in the future so the future perfect continuous tense is used to express an action that will be continuing or going on for some time in the future until another action begins in the future The basic structure of the sentence in future perfect continuous tense is subject plus will or shall plus have been plus the first form of the verb that is the present form of the verb along with ing plus object. So in order to understand it let us see some example. So in example 1 i is the subject which will be followed by shall plus have been plus the first form of the verb that is the present form of the verb which is play that is the word play plus ing so if the word becomes playing plus the object that is cricket so i shall have been playing cricket after doing my homework where i is the subject which is followed by shall plus have been plus playing which is the first form of the verb plus ing then plus object which here refers to cricket 